I've pulled the plants out of the cells already. I have the rootstock here, Strong Tosa, and I have the watermelon variety here. This is North Carolina Giant. And I pull them out and I line them up, and these are actually already on the edge. So these are lining up pretty good. If it's more to the center, I'll take my pocket knife and just whittle a little bit of the cell off so that these stems line up side by side. I want a small gap between them, but about a half an inch or less. Um, you don't want to get too close because then when you come back to cut the stem off of the scion, it'll be difficult to cut. So these line up well. The rootstock is slightly larger in diameter than the, than the scion, but this is close enough that it'll work for this method especially. Okay, now i got the razor blade. I'm going to cut down on the rootstock. Find a good spot where they both line up. So I cut down on the rootstock. There about, I'm going to say, three-eighths of an inch. Now I can see where to make the cut on the scion. So start at the bottom of this, slice, and it's just approximate. And then slice up to try to make an equivalent cut in the scion. So now I've made my cut. They should open up into a gap where I can slide them together like that. You can make a deeper cut, but what happens is the tops get real floppy and so it's hard to hold them all together. Make sure you have your aluminum foil ready. So I start on the back side, make a little bit of a elbow in there so I can pull them together and now I'm putting a little bit of tension on. I'm going to make one wrap and now I'm going to give it a pretty good little cinch. You actually want to pull those pieces so they're squeezed tight together. So now they're held tightly together. Continue wrapping. And every time I come to this side I just give it a little bit of a cinch. You don't want to squeeze it in two, of course, but you do want to hold them tightly together. Okay, so this one's done. Maintain a little bit of pressure to hold those together. They're ready to transplant, and you'll notice my rootstock is going on the left from the stake, and my scion's going on the right. It's really important you do that the same way every time, because when you come back and make your cuts, then you'll know how to do it. Got a handful of soil here because these cells were larger cells than what they were originally growing in. Press it down a little bit. Make sure you keep the soil down below the cut because when you transplant you want that cut to stay above the soil line. And I've got a little water bottle. I'm just going to go ahead and start watering a little bit to make sure it's well saturated. So now we're good for five days. So five days from now, I'm going to come back and cut the top off of the rootstock. And I like to use scissors for that. So I'll take the scissors, and I'm not actually going to cut it, but this is the process. So you just come through and cut that. You see these plants behind? These were done a week ago. So the, the, the uh, rootstock was cut off, decapitated a week ago. And just a few minutes ago, we came through and we made cuts to cut the um, root off of the scion. So that's it.